Hello everyone, welcome back to the AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Mode with the Tasmanian Devils. Thought I'd start this episode by showing you the ladder as it currently stands. As you can see, North Melbourne are top of the table, followed by Carlton in second. I must say, Baggy Blue fans, this is the closest you're going to get to seeing your team in the top eight. Sorry for that dig, but it's true. As you can see, the Tasmania Devils in third place. We're taking on the West Coast Eagles in this episode. Um, they're currently fourth on the latter. And we're also taking on the Brisbane Lions as well. And they are also in the eight. So a couple of big games coming up in this episode. Let's get straight in to our first game against the Eagles. Uh, it's good to be back at home at Blundstone Arena. No changes to the team that beat the Dogs in the last game. And here is the West Coast Eagles lineup, and looks like all their regulars are there. Jerry McGovern at fullback, Josh Kennedy, Jack Darling, Ryan's there, uh, Tom Hickey in the ruck. That's an interesting choice. So out they come. By the way, what do you think of the new song? I know there's some mixed opinions. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the new West Coast Eagles theme song? And here come our boys, the Tasmanian Devils, third on the ladder. And coming off a massive win against my beloved Western Bulldogs at Mars. Now back at home in that beautiful map Guernsey and ready to win another. This is a big game. There goes the toss of the coin, and the Devils elect to go to the right. So let's get into this one. Devils versus Eagles, third versus fourth on the ladder. It's round nine. There's Dusty there. He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Perfect bounce to start. We're underway. Jesus, that was terrible. And Tim Kelly has the first goal of the game. It's a ball up. Oh, no. Liam Ryan all by himself, and he's got a goal. And the Eagles have the first two. Jesus, this is terrible. Oh, I'm getting absolutely destroyed in the early stages of this game. They've got their first, they've got the first three goals, the Eagles, and Tim Kelly's got two. Oh, well done. Ben King basically gets the ball handed on a platter for him. And this for the first goal of the game for the Devils. It's a good-looking kick. It's straight through the diddly-do. And Ben King has his first. And he's kicked the first for the Devils. Much-needed goal. Ball up inside our 50. Can we get back-to-back -back goals here? Very important that we do. Oh, my God. That was terrible. He goes, Mitch Robertson, surely go for it, Robbo. And it's through! Robbo! Robinson has kicked the Devils' second goal. Beautiful! Two seconds to go. Ball up. Bell Chambers wins the ruck contest, but the siren sounds. And after we conceded the first three goals of the game, we've been able to kick the next two and... Just keep ourselves within distance going into the quarter time break, which is very important. Short from McGovern, McGovern and Redden taking a good mark just on the AFL logo now. Oh, gee. I tried to go for the specky, but Cripps takes the mark, and that is terrible. And Liam Ryan takes an easy mark in the end, so a chance here for the Eagles to kick the first goal of the second quarter. I think Liam Ryan's already got a goal on the board, so this for his second, and he's made no mistake. He's kicked it straight through the middle into the David Boone stand, 
and terrible bit of defending on our half. Ball up, top of the 50. Jesus. Oh, chance here. That's a good kick. Just need to mark it. Rewild, he has. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Now a chance here to just reduce the margin back here. It's on a tight angle. This is going to be a tight kick. And he's got it, Rewalt, as you'd expect. And glad we got that one. High ball in a pack. Now we stream forward here. Chance here for Rewalt if he can beat his man. Kick it off the ground, kick it off the ground. Well done, Rewalt. Now just got to... Oh, you smart ass. Ha <laughs> ha, sucked in. No one fends off Rewalt like that. And karma's always going to hit you if you do it. So, can I get this? Gee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a drop punt here. Ben King, he's been in form lately. I don't think he could get... Oh, he snuck it through! Ben King from the tightest of angles with a drop punt. Oh, jeez. Come on, you're joking! And Cripps... Takes the mark just inside 50. That was poor. Very, very poor. And the Eagles have increased the margin back out after that Jamie Cripps goal. Oh, gee, how many shrug offs can you do? Oh. That's so frustrating. Get the tap, get the spall in. Oh, good mark. So there you go, that's half time, and the Eagles are 14 point lead at half time. We got within a couple of points at one stage, but um, the Eagles just kicked away slightly, and the half time score 4 1 25 to 6 3 39. So Liam Ryan's got it here on the forward flank. Now he goes short to Duggan. They're really dangerous here, the Eagles. Oh, he's played on and run out of bounds. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've seen. Ball's locked in our defence. Oh, no way. It's a ball up, seven seconds to go, and maybe a chance, potentially. No, that's it. So, 26 point lead to the Eagles at three quarter time. We're going to have to pull off a remarkable performance in the fourth if we're going to win this one. Here we go, fourth quarter underway. Can we pull off a remarkable comeback? Well, not if we're going to do that. What happened there? <sighs> this is a bad day at the office. And Venables makes no mistake. This is just shocking. Now, Rewalt. I'm just going to kick this as far as I can and hope for the best. Oh! That went through and I wasn't even going for goal! Jesus! Highlight of the day for mine. Have a look at this. Have a look at how it bounced. That's ridiculous, but I'm taking it. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Back to the drawing board, I'd say. Maybe a goal to finish off. Oh, well done, Rewalt. That's fantastic. So a chance here just to reduce the margin back, but it's not going to be enough. And he's got it, Jackie. 11 seconds on the clock. And we're going to lose this one. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We don't want to concede another goal, and that's it. 
That's a, a really disappointing performance, I must say. No other words to describe it, to be honest. So final score, the Tasmanian Devils 6-2-38, defeated by the Eagles 10-3-63. The stats say it all. I mean, the Eagles just dominated possession, dominated uncontested and contested possessions. And they just had more of the footy, 61%. That's just shocking. So um, not a great game from the Devils today. Uh, Theo Rini with nine. Jeremy Howe with six disposals. Webster also with six disposals. As for the Eagles, Josh Kennedy, he was superb today, 13 disposals. Tim Kelly with 12. That's what you, you'd expect from, from him. And Will Schofield with 10 disposals. The goal kickers for the Devils, Rewalt with three, Ben King with two, Mitch Robinson with one. And for the Eagles, Tim Kelly, Liam Ryan and Daniel Venables with two. Each player of the match, Tim Kelly, no arguments with that. Josh Kennedy and Dom Sheed also in the votes. And there you go, that's a summary of, uh, of the quarter-by-quarter um, -quarter scores. And as you can see, we did not even kick a single score in the third quarter. So that's where it all fell apart for us. Let's have a look at the other round nine scores. And Geelong got a big win over the reigning premiers at the MCG, 77-33. At Marvel Stadium on Saturday, North Melbourne beat Essendon, 66-54. The Giants beat St Kilda at Giants Stadium, 88-63. Hawthorne winners over the Swans in a good game by the looks of it, 97 to 91 at the MCG. Adela uh, Port Adelaide rather beat Brisbane by five points, 55 to 50 at Adelaide Oval. Collingwood get a good win over the second placed Carlton, 69 to 44 at the MCG. At T.O. Traeger Park, Melbourne uh, defeated by the Adelaide Crows, 56 to 63, and Fremantle beating the Doggies at Optus Stadium, 74 to 51. And from the last match, Fiorini has been reported for rough conduct and has been suspended for three matches. And that's, I don't remember him doing anything that was of a rough nature, but anyway, three matches, I mean, we're probably not going to get off with that, so I think we might just do the guilty plea and get the two match suspension. So Fiorini is out of the next game against the Lions. Let's get into the next game. Brisbane taking on the Tasmanian Devils at the beautiful Gabba. And hopefully we bounce back after that terrible performance against the Eagles. Here's the uh, Lions side. Harris Andrews on the wing is an interesting choice. Eric Hipwood's in the forward line. Jared Lyons in the team as well. We've made a couple of changes. Peter Wright comes back in and Ryan Gardner goes out. And uh, also coming out of the side is, of course, Fiorini and Thurlow takes his place. So here come the Devils on to the Gabba for Saturday night footy. And like I said, hopefully we can bounce back after that disappointing loss to the Eagles. It was a very, very poor performance. And here come the Lions. How good was their season last season, by the way? Unbelievable. But anyway. Looks like Matty Eagles is in the team. The, uh, the winner of the recruit a couple of, uh, in the last season. That will be interesting to see how he goes today. So toss of the coin. And it's... Dane Zorko, who wins the toss and elects to go to the right of the screen. So here we go, Saturday night footy, big game. Brisbane taking on the Devils and we're underway. Perfect bounce by Razor Ray Chamberlain. A ball up inside our 50. Oh, Jesus. Tackle him, what? Oh, Jesus. Did you see how many times we got fended off there? That is ridiculous. That doesn't happen in a real game. It doesn't happen. Ball up just outside our Ford 50. Wits. Good tackle. Here we go. Here's a chance. McPherson has got it. And I think that might be his first goal for the Devils. You beauty. Come on. Important. We got the first goal of the game. 
Well done, Wits wins the ruck contest. Now we get the ball inside 50. Oh, here's a go for McPherson again for back-to-back -back goals. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it! Oh! What a start this is. Two goals. Oh, good pressure. Now Jimmy Webster's away here. Oh, just take him all on, and he's been given a free kick for high tackle. Oh, beautiful. Players everywhere by themselves, and Jeremy Howe somehow has um, managed to make his way into the forward line to mark that one. Can he kick a goal? I don't expect him to because he's a defender. In fact, I take that back. Jeremy Howe on the goal sheet. We've got the first three of the match. Matt Rowe. Oh, Jackie, you beauty boy. He was always going to do that. And he's delivered. Now, I'd love to have a shot from there. I reckon he could get it, actually. Oh, gee, that was nearly a mark. We're on top of the, the lines early here. Sexton! Oh, wow! That's a beauty! A ripper dipper, I should say. And my goodness, hangers everywhere. First rewalk, now Sexton. I'm going to have a shot with Sexton here. I don't reckon it will make the distance. Although Martin's there, and Martin marks. So a chance here to kick the first four goals of the game. Dusty's got it. And I should take the time now to pause this game and go into options and go into gameplay and see, look at that, I'm on legend, just for your information, just for all those people in the comments that are like, oh, go up a level, it's too easy. Oh! Now Webster, up, up the line, he goes. Oh, jeez. Should have applied the spoil there. Oh, now the lines are just... Wow, they want to lose this game, don't they? They want to lose this game. <laughs> oh, Alex Sexton. He's kicked the goal. It's come up and said he's got an injury, but he looks okay to me. Oh. Oh, it's a goal. Allison who I've met in real life, by the way, has kicked the Lions' first goal at long last. Oh, that's a joke. Did you see that? Rocky Neal has just fended and gold. Daniel Rich has got the footy. Eight seconds to go. What a smother that was. Did you see that? That was superb. And that's going to be it. Siren sounds, and what a start by the Devils. We lead by 19 points at quarter time. We scored the first five goals of the game, and then the Lions hit back with the next two. Oh, jeez. Wits has given that straight to Lockie Neal, and he's gold it, and that's his second. And after a really good start, we're letting the Lions back into this. Oh, here go the Lions again. Oh, no. No, we're falling apart here. Cameron's got the footy now. And this to reduce the margin even further. You'd expect him to kick it, and he has... Ah, dear, oh dear. So, it's game on. Here's a go. Yep, Benny King's got the footy. Now, we've conceded the last four goals, so we need this. We need this, just to stem the flow a little. And he's got it, the King. On the scoreboard. Once again. So, Barry's got it in the middle. 
Oh, crumbing and goaling. Zorko, the captain. It's a seven point ball game with a minute 10 to go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Bell Chambers marks the footy. And a chance here to extend the margin back out. He's our backup ruckman. But he's a gun goal kicker. He's kicked that one a mile. Rich takes the mark. 13 point lead to us. Siren's going to sound any second. And there you go. Siren sounds. So it's a 13 point lead to us, the Devils. Five straight 30, the Lions, to the Devils 7 1 43. It's been a pretty accurate game, only the one behind between the two teams. Incredible. Big kick forward. Oh, Rewalt. Yes, Rewalt. Oh, my God. What happened there? We've got the numbers here. We should mark this. Kick off the ground. Goal. Get in there. Come on. Whoa. We scored the last two goals of the game, which is promising. Where are the Lions kicking it? Oh, Daniel Rich. Tarrant Thomas was set to mark that, and then Rich came woozer over the top. And he's wasted the kick. Good on you, Richie. Should have scored there. That was ridiculous. Now the lines are away. Oh, jeez. End to end. And McStay takes the mark on a slight angle. And he's got it. I'm pretty disappointed in how that goal was scored. Oh, good mark, Ainsworth. I might as well just have a ping. From this big distance, it's probably not going to make the distance to be honest, and it doesn't, but Rewalt can mark! Big hip and shoulder, and a chance here to extend the lead back out. Good on you Jack, good on you Jackie boy! Jack Rewalt, captain of the Devils, scores his first of the night. So ball in, top of the 50, Lions. Oh, Jesus. I just got smashed out of the ruck, and Rayner ends up with the footy and scores. Wow. Oh, here's a go. I'm going forward. Oh, Greenwood's must have come out, come off the bench. I'm going to try and go all the way here with Greenwood. Well done. Sexton. Goals. Didn't they say he was injured before? Anyway, he's got his second. Free kick here to the Lions. Good kick to Matt Eagles in the centre square. Now Ben Ainsworth is there. Oh, here's a go. Dusty. Come on, Dusty. Couldn't quite get a good enough kick away because he was tackled in the process. Oh, they're going backwards here, the Lions. Wow, that was absolutely flabbergasting what they did there. And Sexton runs into an open goal and scores his third. Oh, well done. Now Huey Greenwood. Come on, put the bump on, put the bump on. Oh, it's gone over our heads. Come on, Rewalt. Kick into an open goal. Oh, no. Oh, it's a free kick. You beauty! Get a second crack here. And Rewalt should kick this. He does! He does! We're destroying the Lions here. 
And once again, just to be clear, just to be clear, I'm playing on Legend. See? Legend difficulty. You know what? I'll even quit out of the game and play. Hang on, why did I kick it there? That is a... Um, I've made an absolute meal of that, as Angry Oliver would say. Oh, here we go. Numbers here, Thurlow. Oh. Sexton, four, he's fourth. It's a Sexton kind of day. So five seconds remaining. Adams has kicked it into the man on the mark. I don't think we're going to get a goal, though. Nah. So there you go, three-quarter time. We're on top here. We're destroying the lines at the Gabba. It's a 30-point lead to the Devils. Come on, boys. Let's finish it off. This is a really good performance after that shocker against the Eagles. But we've got to keep it up. Free kick. Oh. What am I doing? The other lines might be away here. Big kick to space. Inside 50. Collar Jasny's trying to get there, but... He's not going to get there. Eric Hipwood had so much time up his sleeve, and as a result, he's easily kicked that one. That's his first. And McStay takes the mark just to the top of the 50. He's already kicked a goal today. Oh, drop footy. Oh, Liam Jones applying the high tackle. And it's a free kick to the Lions. They're still in this. this would... Oh, jeez. What was going on there? Christensen takes the mark by himself, mind you. And this, this would bring it back to just under 20 points. Yeah, so it's still game on here. And 2.30 is plenty of time to get back into it. Cam Rayner. Oh, Jesus. Hitwood takes the mark. Chance here to kick his second goal of the match. He lines up. And, oh, he snuck it through. I thought that was going to be behind, but he snuck it through for a goal. So we've got to watch ourselves here. Here's Allison. Spoil, spoil, spoil. Well done. Oh, big kick. That's a big kick. Don't you dare. Oh, no. Lockie Neal has somehow kicked it, and, oh, no. It's a seven-point lead now after being 30 points at three-quarter time. We've got the ball back though. Oh, here we go. We've got a spoil on it. Kick it. Yes! Jack! Puts the tackle on, falls to the ground and is able to get up and kick it off the ground and goal. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, Jesus. That's terrible. 20 seconds to go. This would put them within a kick, if this was kicked, and what, where's, why isn't anyone in the goal square? Oh dear, we've got 12 seconds to hold on, here we go, back in the middle, 10 seconds to go, surely we hold on from here, surely we just, oh no, 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 spoil it, spoil it, I think we've done enough, two seconds to go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I got a heart attack nearly at the end of that. Wow, I would have um, I would have dug a hole and uh, hidden in it if we had have lost this game. With 30 points up at three-quarter time, it would have been one of the all-time biggest collapses, biggest chokes, in other words. But it doesn't matter because the Devils have won. They've been able to hold on by a goal. And I'm happy that we've won this game after a disappointing... Uh, result against the Eagles in the last game. So uh, final score, the Lions 13-80, defeated by the Tasmanian Devils 14-86 in a very accurate game. We dominated the inside 50s, 35-14. to Probably should have won by more, to be honest. Um, they had most of the footy, though, the Lions, 121-94. to We won the uncontested possessions, didn't win the contested possessions, 
and uh, they won the marks. No surprise there, because I'm just no good at marking. And the Lions had 51% of the possession, but we had 39 hitouts to 15. So we're pretty we're pretty good with our hitouts, aren't we? We've got two really good ruckmen, so so we should be. Uh, Lions major ball winners: Adams with 11, Neil and Allison with 10 each. While for the Devils, Greenwood with nine, Martin and Sexton with eight. Goal kickers for the Lions, uh, Lockie Neal scored three, Hitwood and Rayner two each. While for the Devils, Sexton kicked four, he was superb today. Rewalt with three and McThurston with the first two goals of the game. Let's have a look at the player of the match, Lockie Neal. Wow, I think Alex Sexton is absolutely stiff to miss out. Dustin Martin gets in the votes as well and Jared Berry also in the votes so um, there you go we get a six point win against the Lions away from home let's have a look at all the other round 10 results and it started on Friday night with Geelong absolutely whooping the bums of the Sydney Swans 120 to 65 at the SCG incredible uh, Hawthorne get a win over Port Adelaide in Launceston, 69-61. St Kilda winners over Fremantle, 63-59 at Marvel Stadium. The Adelaide Crows beat Carlton, 64-57 at the Adelaide Oval. Richmond get the job done over the Bombers in a close game at the MCG. Dreamtime at the G, that would have been, 76-72. to um, Melbourne beat the Doggies, 60-56 at the MCG. Uh, North Melbourne beat Collingwood at Marvel Stadium, 83-73. And at Optus Stadium, the GWS Giants get a surprising win over the Eagles, 69-46. So after the Eagles beat us, they, uh, they get beat at home. Incredible. And let's finish off the episode where we started, and that's having a look at the ladder. North Melbourne still on top of the table, followed by the Greater Western Sydney Giants. Carlson is still there in third. Fremantle in fourth. Hawthorne in fifth. We're in six, the Tasmanian Devils, the West Coast Eagles are seventh, and rounding out the eight is Geelong. Who's on the bottom of the ladder? Port Adelaide with two wins and eight losses. Wow, the Dogs, they're not doing very well. They're in the bottom four. That is not too good for my beloved Doggies. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Tasmanian Devils AFL Evolution 2 Career Mode series here on the Bev Show YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up and also press that subscribe button as well. Leave a comment down below as well, giving you giving me uh, your thoughts on uh, the games we've played in this episode. Um, make sure you like the Bev Show Facebook page. I broadcast live every Sunday at 8pm with a crack a lack and show. You won't want to miss this week's show. And until the next episode of this Career Mode series, take care, catch you later.